So we lost Smith. So we lost Suggs. So we lost Mosley. Can Matt Judon step up and get us 12 plus sacks? But I look in his eye. You tell me what you think. See if the talent presents Ravens Roundup. Let's go. So to answer the question in the thumbnail, yes. I think Judon's going to have more than 12 sacks or right around 12. And I simply have, you know, two reasons why. Reason number one, he's going to be bigger, faster, stronger, and more polished as a pass rusher. And reason number two, reason number two, I'm sorry, reps. So Darius Smith's gone. Terrell Suggs is gone. He'll get more opportunities to get more sacks. Let's get into his sacks from last year and, you know, kind of break down what he did. Play one is against the Chiefs. Uh, the, he's at the top of the screen against Mitchell Schwartz. Let this play through and I, we'll kind of break it down from the back end. Did this thank smell celebration. Now here he is right here. Maybe we'll get a little spot shot on that. Let's go through it almost frame by frame. Pick it up a little bit. All right. Got a good ball get off. So the tackle hasn't even kicked once yet. And uh, Judon is on his pass rush. He gets one kick, two kick. But now, he gets his hands on the tackle before he can get one hand on him. So now he has extension so he can see what the ball is. And that's a key to most defensive linemen. Getting uh, the offensive lineman in a press situation so he can uh, extend him and kind of throw him around and see what the ball is. So he has his hands on him now. The offensive line is just sticking, offensive lineman, is just sticking his right arm up. He's going to take him, put a little power on him, and just throw him down. Now, watch him swim with his left hand and come right by. Now it's time to get the quarterback. Mahomes has nothing or anything or nowhere he can go anywhere. Because where he wants to go, um, Judon is in his face. Big sack versus KC. Let's go to play two. Now these next three plays are brought to you by the letter B and P. Because uh, Brandon Parker, who's the right tackle for the Raiders, got exposed. In this play, I'm, I want you to watch the ball get off. Just watch the ball get off. Look at that old man run. Go T Sizzle. I think this is the, the, the play I'm gonna keep in my mind as the last play for Suggs. Even though you know he played more games after this. This is my my Suggs memory for life. Alright, again, Judon is here. Watch the ball get off. He timed this up so good. Now, the ball is still in the center's hand. He's already got a running start. So the, so the old lineman, who is um, Brandon Parker, doesn't get any chance to kick slide. He's already on step two, and David Carr is just catching the ball. So now he doesn't get any kick slide. He's a straight turn to reach. Now, what Judon does is take both his hands, stick them between the offensive lineman arms, and go gonna open them up, almost like a, like a, like a, like a, a swimming type motion. So he's gonna take his hands, put them together, pull, push up, and then out to get the offensive lineman's hand off of him. So now he got the, he got the shoulder dipped. Look at the bend. Look at the bend. Now, and because the offensive lineman could not take any kick slides, the bend's taking him right to the quarterback. Now, show you a little something different. 
look on the left side with Suggs. Suggs' guy was able to take a couple of kick slides and look at the difference in where they would meet at the quarterback. Judon is on the top side of the, that, that white striped line, that solid line. Suggs is on the back side. So that puts Judon right in the perfect position to, for the quarterback to drop back into him and not necessarily him have to step up in the pocket. But even when, with him stepping up in the pocket, he still goes after it. Now, with him not being able to get the sack because of the step up, it's all about finding the ball now. Get the ball out. Look at that, look at that hand. Hand is strictly for to get the ball out. Forget the sack. Need the ball now. Get it out. Career Suggs does the rest. Now, who Suggs was looking to pitch this ball to right here? I don't know, but I'm glad he did. And again, as far as I'm concerned, this is the last play Terrell Suggs played in a Ravens uniform. This is how I want to remember. Now, again, we got Brandon Parker again. The very next play. The very next play. After we get a stop. Same guy, same results. Get your little zen pose at the end of this one. So now, Parker is worried about that speed. He's gonna try to get real good kicks. Now I didn't get that good of a get off this time because now Carl has the ball. He's just not starting. So Parker's worried about it. So he's he's open that hip already. No real kick slide. He had one kick slide, now he's open, hinging his hips already. Because he's worried about it. So now he's trying to get dip. Look at his right hand, just throwing by. Get out the way. Club right over. Simple. Put that right hand. Thwap. Bring the other one, the left hand over. Now it's over with. Step right up into this sack. Get your little zen pose on. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Now the very next play. I think it's the very next play. Might have been one in between. Let's see what down this is. Let's see if this is second. This is second, yes, very next play. play and before I get into it, I, it looks like the same exact move the same exact move that's it again Parker's worried about that speed get off okay on this one Almost, almost same thing. I'm in the same move. Get to him. Doesn't hit him with that right hand as hard. Kind of goes with two hands and getting still close by. Right hand by. One. Turns the guy completely around. Wow. He's so worried about getting back that he doesn't even get back. He's hinging already. And I know most offensive linemen coaches are. Uh, Guys that, that know O-line, know so doggone well, you shouldn't be hinging right here. You should still be in your kick with your number square to to the um, the hash, since you're right on the hash anyway. Get your kick, get your depth, and that way whatever move they can give you, you can counter it. Right now he has no counter. Because all his leverage is going straight back toward the bottom of the screen. Now he's going to get thrown toward the bottom of the screen and get swam under. Again, Brandon Parker, you get donkey of the day for this one. I think you got donkey of the day that day too because uh, you got exposed three plays in a row. And it's be, it would be interesting to see if he got pulled after that. I think I may go back and check that out after I finish this. Next play against the Bengals and, you know, all pro Andrew Whitworth at the top of your screen. Whitworth got uh, good kick slides on this one. So 
Kadarius just hit him with, I mean, not Kadarius, Judon just hit him with a counter. Here's Judon right here. Going against Whitworth. I'm just going to hit him with a counter. Check the get off on this. Look at him watching the ball. Trying to time it up. Ball snap. My average get off on this one. Whitworth gets one kick. Whitworth gets two kicks. Three. Now, see, he's just not hinging his hips. Whereas Parker had already hinged on step one. But Andrew Whitworth's all pro. So now, Judon tries to overpower him with that left hand. Doesn't work. Whitworth still has him. They're, they're hand fighting with the right arm. Whitworth still doesn't have him. I'm sorry, Judon still doesn't have him. Whitworth's in a good position. Now, Judon realized, okay, I can't beat him with speed. Let me counter. So when he spins, the quarterback steps right up into him. So, you know, this wasn't overall bad by, by Whitworth. It just was a good counter move by Judon. And again, this is one of the reasons I say he's going to be more polished because guys that, that do potentially have him blocked at the beginning of, of a play, he's going to stay with it. Find a counter to go with it. There it is, another sack. Maybe they gave him a half a sack on this one. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film Then More Film, or Fruit Tomatoes and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on it. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. Still counts as a sack for me, though. Against the hated Pittsburgh Wheelers. Now, he doesn't really beat anybody on this. This is most like a cover sack. And let me show you why I say a cover sack. Back up here. This is why I call it a cover sack. This guy's covered. This guy's covered. This guy's covered. You can throw it here, but he's going to be tackled immediately. And you got a guy right there pretty much covering him. So, with, with all those guys covered, and I think you don't have coverage too up, up initially. And when Ben got out of the pocket, he just went and got him. Again, so cover sack, you know, but he'll take it in stat books. Again, he's here. No real rush, so I can't say this is a burst versus the tight end or versus the tackle or anything, but you'll see the drop. Scramble, I'm coming to get you. Not, that wasn't, you know, nothing to really go into. He just had a drop in Big Ben Scramble. So now this is against uh, Taylor LeWan versus the Titans. I think this is a game we had like 11 sacks, but he only got one of them. I think the Aries had a, a huge day this game. But he's at the bottom of the screen here. Hey, just beat around the edge. Great Ben on the edge. Simply, that's all it is. Let's see where he's right here. Great being around the edge and just, just, just beat him. Beat him with speed. No real, not a good ball get off. He, he makes contact with Lewan on his, I think his second kick slide. Let's see. One, two, now. The one grabs his left arm, which is good for offensive linemen because now he can try to kind of control them. So what does he do with the right arm? He slaps the right arm down. Great job. Simple, little simple things like this because now Luan can't control him because he gets that right hand down. Well, he takes his right hand and gets Luan's left hand down. Right there, get it out of the way. Now I'm running because he got the shoulder to buy him right there. Now it's over with. Once the shoulder gets, gets parallel or by him, it's a wrap. Now QB can step up, but look at that pressure up the middle. Nowhere for him to step up to. Sad. Luckily he didn't get the ball out. I mean, lucky for them he didn't get the ball out. 
Another sack for the good guys. Now we get the Broncos. This will be the last one I show you. But I want you to pay attention at, at, at this right here. When um when other teams were in obviously with obvious pass situations, we took and put four pass rushers on the field. And I'll show you from the back who those who those got these guys are. You get a stunt in the middle with uh Zedaria Smith and Judon, and the result is another sack. So it's second and thirteen with like um but now I don't know the down and distance, but it's like right, right for the end of the second quarter. And you got Bowser on the field, you got Judon, you got Zaris Smith, you got Suggs, all pass rushers. Because this is obvious pass situation. I loved when we did this. That's why I was making the comment that our D tackles didn't play a lot. Because when we got in obvious pass situations, they came off the field and we put four pass rushers in. But that was, you know, early in the season. Now, the Darius is here. And, you know, I, it's not necessarily a matchup versus this guy versus this guard because it's going to be a stunt. What you're going to get is um, Zadarius is going to – I'm sorry, Judon is here. I'm, I keep calling him Zadarius. Judon is here. Zadarius is here. He's going to shoot all the way across the formation. Judon's going to go upfield like he's coming through this what, B gap and then twist right off of uh, Smith. And then it's going to twist him right into the run with the quarterback. He come across. You see him coming across the formation, and he's coming up the field like he wants to 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 penetrate this B gap. Has to pick, pick and roll. <laughs> That's all it is. This is pick and roll, to me. And, I, and I'm a basketball fan, so I, I kind of throw basketball terms out there. This is simply pick and roll. There's his screen man. He's coming to screen that, that guard. So with him screening the guard, it takes the guard out and the guy that's trying to block him. And that puts Jude on with a straight line to the quarterback. This guard tries to block him. And he really does a good job of blocking him. But by now the quarterback's stepping up because he's nervous in panic mode. And you get half a sack with Jude on and Suggs. Great stunt though. Great stunt. Now, this is what eight plays that he got sacks on, and this with limited snaps. So imagine if he's the full-time pass rusher. And, you know all the pressure we're gonna get, especially with what we have on the back end. We're gonna have guys locked up on the back end because I think we have the the best secondary in the league. And so uh, what I want you guys to do. This is the last play on here. Make sure you share this on social media and you at. Matt Judon on it so he can see it and let him know how much we appreciate him and how much we put him for him to get 12 plus sacks this year. Again, this is Coach Evans with Ravens Roundup. Salute.